good morning good morning uh will mosley here um i do all things pretty much creative and uh today we are on lesson um two of will mosley teaches creative business development personal brand and social media distribution um this is going to be a good bit of a hands-on um lesson today i'm going to open up you know pretty much as you can see on the screen let me pull this in the center here if you are on TikTok, um, you can jump over to my profile and click on to my youtube channel if you do want to actually let's see should be twitter on there as well um, to kind of see a hands-on uh, view of this a lot of discussion too so shouldn't be too lost um, but let's see I'll pretty much just be using my screen recording or my um, iPhone here to kind of just jump into like Snapchat and Instagram and TikTok and all those and kind of talk about the nuances of each one and how I'm using it for personal brand. And um, in later episodes or when I circle back around, we'll talk deeply about how to set up each of these. Um, so yeah, cool. Uh, let's see, is there anything else before we jump in? Yeah, so we'll be, let's just, uh, just fill this up and we'll just jump in. Let's put this over here onto some other um, page like Google for the time being and then let's pull up back up our quick time all right cool yeah so let's just be on the phone um, so snapchat a lot of people don't they have a resistance to snapchat because it's super confusing um, but oh, this looks like my thing is muted over here. One second it says muted. Two seconds. Oh, there we go. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. They have a, a resistance to Snapchat. And I think it's just the overall, when you first open it up, you have this kind of camera just looking at you and you're like, what, you know, what? What is it? What do I do? Just record something? So I'm going to actually go ahead and make a simple snap right now. Why not? Um, host invite you to go live together. King Zuby. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. That's a Canon G7. Uh, we got the power shot. Actually, let me grab my camera. For everyone else on the live, I've got a... A guy on TikTok right here. I'm just gonna go should go ahead and show him the setup and we'll keep on going. So let's see, we've got we've got pretty much Ooh. the um, Canon SL3 recording here. That's our camera B. And then we have our camera A, same same camera. Um, GoPro camera C. We've got pretty much StreamYard streaming to Facebook, um, uh, Twitter, and Twitch. This right here wow. is recording the screen right here. Let's pull this up here. This is recording the screen, and then we have a mic kind of popping off here. <laughs> what you do, bro? Do what? What do you do? What do you? So I'm a creative director. Um, pretty much anything from filmmaking to web development to brochures, banners, all that stuff. Um, you in LA? Am I in LA? Yeah. Nah, Asheville. So East Coast. Where you at? LA. LA. Uh, you edit, stuff, huh? Do I edit? Yeah. I edit? Word. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm going to go ahead and jump back on the stream. And uh, yeah, you can keep on listening if you want. And uh, nice meeting you, my man. So Snapchat is, it, 
for me, I didn't understand really how to use it for a long time. Let me make sure to pull this back up. Pull you back up. Where are you at? Two seconds. Quick time. Get our video back up. I'll just keep on talking while I pull this up. And the thing with Snapchat is it's the closest thing you can really get to like live action stories. Um, there we go. That's better. So let me just kind of show you what right now I have like 90,000 views on Snapchat for probably the last month. Um, of Snapchats and what I do with it is instead of just kind of posting rando, I'm going to pop into some stories real quick. Let's pop up here. Let's just click on the latest story. You can't really hear it, but you can see it. This is what, um, most Snapchat kind of stories look like. See, ask not to track. So you show you an ad, then the next person's story. And then we have some text right here. Where your loneliness leads you is your reality within. And it's not that it's like terrible, but like most people are just kind of posting a couple little things and it's not super high quality. So it's the brother with the fall vibes out the window. That's one snap, same snap, same snap. And that's it. Uh, and that there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential there to actually show a really good cohesive story. Uh, so let me show you, let me pop back into um, some of my snaps. And it may be a little bit weird because these are a couple from a few days ago, but let's pop this spotlight, pull down, view more, 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 view more. All right, let's go ahead and just click into one of these. So you can't hear the volume, but instead of holding the camera pretty much it's a wide angle doing something and then you showing the action instead of and you don't have the jerky footage and you're telling a story so i'm just kind of click through a couple of these and this is mostly in live action i did try out a couple things where i used my actual camera to kind of post a couple of these but as you can see the difference between the quality of footage is is different not just because it's using a camera which i don't recommend you use your own camera or whatever but use your phone it's trying to be dynamic and creative with these shots sequentially I am from Asheville. What is that? Monty, Monty Love, eight sixty. Um, I'm on uh, Twitch, Twitter, and Clubhouse uh, uh, at Hey Will Mosley. If you want to see the visuals, let's see. But pretty much what you can do is go about your day. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and make one right now. I'm going to turn the camera around recording to TikTok. camera B right here. Camera uh, a, uh, we got a screen recording going mic going to the screen, little iPad sidecar action. And I click download, save, and then send very simple. Add to spotlight, click my story. Boom. Now, another thing that I would do, it's on the charger right now, so I can't exactly like take it off, is I would set it down and then go walk and do an action. So let's say over there, I walk and go pick up something. You just think about what the next thing you're going to do. Let me flip this back around. 
you just think about the next thing that you're going to do put your camera as far as you can just put it on a windowsill put it just wherever this is the same thing with TikTok. same thing with instagram the the principles apply on every platform and put it down lock the camera to record and then go walk and do the action and that will make your footage dramatically better I'm gonna go ahead and add this to spotlight my story send change the angle so move so instead I'm gonna actually reverse this seeing as I'm using the computer actually we're using this I can use this to record the screen so we get a little bit more of a different vibe just find a different way of, of presenting information and try to hold your camera steady <laughs> All right, there we go. Snapchat at Hey Will Mosley. Okay, sweet. So that's Snapchat. I would use that as much as possible uh, when uh, you legit want to live your day and don't want technology to get in the way. All of this stuff right here, this took like an hour to get all set up. That you want to be able to just go and that's what snapchat's great for and there's a lot of opportunity almost every snap that uh, every other snap i'm doing is like let's see this is 282 views 318 views 35 views 283 views 98 views and for you to take legit a 10 second snap a 10 second snap very quickly and each one of those snaps gets 200 views versus you working really hard on a TikTok for like an hour or 15 minutes or 10 seconds. I don't know. It, it's, it's definitely, definitely uh, good attention that you can capitalize on. Super simple. Okay, so I'm, let's see, we got, we got about 15 more minutes. So I'm going to try to go through the top kind of four in my brain. So next on my list is Instagram. Uh, so Instagram is, whoa, there's some bears. What up, WLS? Instagram is interesting because there's so many ways you can do it. And it's very, it's like showing your best. Like most people use it to kind of show their best stuff. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think also people want personality they want real i think that's why people go to tiktok honestly they want really good um authentic conversation and they want to learn information quickly uh that is tiktok's jam so for instagram what i'm recommending and this is what i'm doing now is i'm using all of the forms so what i'll do is i'll take the snaps that i uh do from Snapchat. I'll take, I'll go into Instagram. I'll swipe over. Let's go to home. I'll add. So let me just go ahead and add the snap right here. We'll click next, share the story, add the highlights. And then um, I press plus. Usually I do a little icon. So let's do. Um, eyes for whatever reason and you can upload up to 10 I believe uh, at a time I'm using my um, spare phone right now because TikTok is uh, TikTok has my um, uh, <laughs> primary phone anyways uh, you do that it goes to your story so this is from yesterday and I think this is just your way of showing your BTS and you can you can do this any way you want to but this is how I'm doing it you can do use it to pretty much just show your BTS so it can be your raw stuff it doesn't have to be your most prettiest stuff it doesn't have to be everything your raw BTS stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and make one right now very quickly reverse um, let's see All right, so new setup in the studio. Um, we've got key light, mic, PA. 
piano. Titan loves playing that. We've got the um, top down set right there. And if I were you know, not locked in this one position, I'd get up. Uh, share, add highlights, plus let's add a, I don't know, um, studio, I don't know, an up sign, like leveling up or something. And press next. And then I think that already shared. All right, cool. X, uh, discard, cool. And sorry if this is a little bit shaky because I'm like one hand in this wall also. <laughs> like, I guess I could use two hands. But uh, use that to show kind of more of the raw behind the behind the scenes stuff. And then what you can then do, and this, I just now recently transitioned to this because tr I've, I've done it all. Uh, a lot of people focus on the post screen, like, this initial screen that you see. But if you want to capitalize on Instagram, where Instagram really is heading, they saw what TikTok was doing. They understood that like, look, people are getting massive amounts of views and they are taking up a huge portion of the market. Oh, we got a disconnection, there we go. And what they did is they released Reels, which is just the same thing as a TikTok. But if you look at my video, this video is nothing special and you can't really hear, you're not gonna be able to hear the audio on uh, that side. But right now I posted it yesterday, it took me 20 second, 30 seconds, 36 seconds to post or to record and it has 1,934 views. So this is just showing the behind the scenes of the studio from yesterday. So it's interesting to see what that looks like versus um now and it has but the the thing with the reels is you don't want to get too fixated just like tiktok you don't want to get too fixated on um every single post performing well i've noticed a theme the first one two or three or four posts that you post a day they'll boost up but immediately after that, if you look at these, so let me just show you right before this day was posted. If you look here, there's one with the piano. I said what it sounds like when I play the piano. Nothing special at all. It's just me playing the piano. It has um, 1,127 views, the next one has 999 views, the next one 418 views, the next one 1,100. Now watch this. You see how there's, those are the four. Those are four that I posted that day. And then immediately after that, 84 views, 13 views, 12 views, 75 views, 118 views. So use reels and you can, like I say, you can do this any way you want to, but use reels to show behind the scenes or show your expertise in something. See if you can tell, you can share information quickly in the reel. It's the same thing with TikTok. And you can reach, you can share it to your um, post screen and Bob's your uncle. Uh, what I'm not doing now is if you notice, uh, most of these are just kind of like me chilling with the kids and all that stuff. As I'm focusing more on being on value for you guys, I want my, at least my home screen to be filled with just content related to cr creative direction, social media distribution, personal brand, web development, that type of stuff. Those are the things that I am an expert at. Those are the things that I thrive in. Everything else, it's just my journey. So think of stories as showing your journey and reels, TikToks, YouTube videos as showing your expertise. I think that will help just define, well, where do I post? What do I post? How do I, if I'm just going about my day, that's my journey, bro. If I'm telling you about the this camera or whatever here, that is expertise. 
so that's Instagram in a nutshell. Uh, you can also put your shop on here. So I have my shop here where the couple of graphic tees or whatever. You can use it to legit buy right now. So I click buy now, it should open up with Apple Pay or something like that. Um, leave checkout. So it's, I think most people navigate or most people relate to Instagram or have, they use Instagram probably more over than most. Everyone, each their own though. TikTok. Um, TikTok is great for really good fast information or just funny whatever what happens is this right so let's say i have no clue the sound what's going on right here or whatever but let's just say that um i see this chicken or whatever and i'm like oh my gosh that's so funny although i don't actually find that funny let's see air conditioning man repair man so you end up flipping through and it knows it sees what you're focusing on and I find something that I think is cute or adorable or just makes sense and I heart it and what happens when I heart that and this is obvious it's going to start to show me more things of that related information now the difference with TikTok and YouTube is YouTube you subscribe to a certain amount of subscribers and you get all your information from these few five to ten people with TikTok, you're getting information from of that topic from a bajillion different people so you get a wider spread lord jesus a wider spread um set of information which is both are good forms like you want a deep dive of one person or you want a is set of a lot of different perspectives. Um, and I think that's also another reason why it's, they're doing so good. So me watching this two, three times over lets them know that, oh, Will wants to see more world record holder stuff. So you'll start to see that showing up. As far as personal brand go, how, no, this is actually not the right profile. That's weird. That's, uh, let's see, switch. That's weird. It is not logged into the right profile. All right, whatever. The main thing here is that you use TikTok to, let me just flip the camera around. There we go. You use it to share good, dense information quickly. So let's see if I can do this on the spot very quickly. Um, question, um, phone versus camera real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Should you use your DSLR camera or mirrorless camera versus your phone, uh, quickly? I would recommend for the vast majority of the 95% of people to just use your phone. The ridiculous amount of setup that I had to do to kind of get all this going deteriorates from the authenticity, uh, uh, <laughs> the realness in the naturalness of just real life. And all of this can cause anxiety, especially if you're not used to um, using cameras, especially if you're not like it's not your jam so use your phone get out the information quick get feedback and then bob's your uncle repeat the process go and i'm gonna go ahead and it's i should probably down i'm gonna post this to the, the my test profile or whatever i should have posted it to my regular one but whatever and add a description let's just say um big camera Actually, let me go back. Let me text. Let me mess, make a. Let me write this out. Text. Big camera verse uh, phone. Question mark. And then you can put some uh, something else or emojis or whatever. Whatever you're feeling. Um, apparently, I'm feeling the eyes today. <laughs> that there and then you can put edit it put black 
white, boom. Recording's gonna stop in a second, so I'll need to reboot those. And I see I'm going red on here, so I'm probably gonna wrap in two seconds, just so I don't have to do more recordings. But next, big, and I'll just put my URL, whatever, and post. So that is what that's good for. Very quick, good, dense information, or if you can show a before and after or cause and effect, um, great. YouTube, it's posted, great. YouTube is great for good, rich content, long form content. Um, and you can use that like right here, this entire, all this right here is going to go on to YouTube. So all the quick information, the stuff that I just did very quickly, very easily is great for social, but this is gonna be my pillar content. This is gonna be my good stuff. Um, and both are extremely valuable. So I have like one minute left on here, so I'm gonna end up wrapping. But th that being said, all of this is personal brand. All of this is good information. It's you, the person, providing the brand, providing the information, providing your life. And people connect with people. So that's absolutely like you need personal brand. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. So to the cameras here, I hope you took something from this. I only went over four social platforms. There's plenty more to go over. We'll talk more about those in depth in later lessons. Um, if you need an e-commerce store or a website or anything like that, uh, try to do it yourself. But if not, you can go over to haywellmosley.com to get a quote. And um, yeah, I will catch you on the next lesson. Peace out. Thank you.